Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm going to do a really swim, simple, simple swim, <laughs> simple, um, and I'm going to use a black base. You can see I still have paints left from my last pour. It goes on forever, honestly. It's so good. You don't use so much paint with these pours. The colors are Prussian blue, light gold, behind that is primary magenta, and then there's turquoise green. The oxide black is the base, the swipe color is titanium white, and the light gold, primary magenta, and turquoise has four drops of the silicone oil in it. Four drops. The light gold is a little bit thinner than the rest because I was using that to swipe with before in the last painting. But today I'm going to use the white to swipe and I've made that thinner too. I'll be using this plastic folder to swipe with, just the one side this time. I'm trying to show you the thickness of the black base paint here. I'm not sure if I can get it in the light properly, but it's thicker than the swipe paint for sure. So I'll show you the white now. Hopefully you can see the thinner consistency of the swipe paint and to lay down the colors I'm going to use this broken funnel. It kind of broke off. It used to look like this. So it's more like an open cup but I find that the colors of the paint will mix better than me just um, laying it down and moving the canvas around. So that is what I am going to do. Let's start. Ah, I forgot to mention that all my paints have been mixed with two parts Floatrol, one part paint and a little bit of water for consistency to make it thinner. So two parts Floatrol, one part paint. Let's start! As I kind of want a thicker layer of the base paint than I usually do with the balloon smash floral paintings, I'm smoothing it along with a popsicle stick. And then I'll tilt it a bit too to even the paint out. But yes, I'm spreading it initially with the stick. I always get tons of bubbles when I spread on the paint with a stick or a palette knife. So torch out all the bubbles and then we're ready to start laying on the colors. So let's use this funnel. I think I'll be going gold heavy on this one because it's lighter in consistency so I feel like I need more. So starting with the gold then I'm adding some primary magenta here and then I'm going to add some of the turquoise green and then adding a little bit of Prussian blue and a whole lot more of the gold and just adding some more colors in before we start to move this across the canvas. If I was doing this as just an open cup painting or a funnel pour painting, I would put less turquoise green in because that is a opaque color, whereas the magenta and the Prussian blue are transparent. So the turquoise wins, you see, so you would put less. But this is fine for this purpose because I just wanted them all to blend together and then I'm going to swipe anyway. So. This is good as it is. I love these colors together. So I'm going to jiggle it about a little bit, tilt it until the colors blend a bit more. And then in any of the gaps, I'll add some paint as well um, to try and make it even at the top where I'm going to swipe from. I filled the gaps up with magenta and gold because there was less of that in the mix before and then I am putting down the white swipe paint a little bit thicker than I had intended but <laughs> let's go with it I'm trying not to pull down any of the black paint from above the white but there's one little bit there that I did manage to catch but it's not such a big deal I think it looks fine so I'm not worried about that and I'm carrying on pulling the plastic towards me 
Using the thicker plastic this time, the thin plastic was actually really easy to use in the last painting, but those were thin strips. And at the end here, I'm just trying to lay it over so it kind of drops over rather than like a hard finish. Really quite tempted to stick that bit on the other side of the canvas because I really enjoyed doing the swipe and stick. But today I'm going to keep it simple and leave it like this. Just watching the cells grow or the lacing develop. Now after five minutes or so, look at how big those cells got at the top. Just giving it a quick torch to see if anything else pops up. But not that I really want it to. I quite like it as it is with a thick white band at the top. I've decided I wanted a sort of softer border as a contrast to the bolder type cells underneath the white band. So I'm going to blow some bits out and add some more white paint to that part. Okay, let's look at the finished wet version of the painting. Can you tell I try to soften the white a bit in contrast with the harder lines of the uh, webbing or lacing beneath? But let's have a closer look at the lacing now. Just look at how it blended so well, those colors. I think, at least for me, it's doing that open cup that really makes a difference. I really like the shape of this webbing or netting or lacing. I feel it's more like netting than lacing even, you know really cool and they're so thin the lines because uh, of using a thinner white swiping paint so nice i love it and yep there's no silicone in the actual swiping paint there's silicone in the other colors so this is the effect it produces this bottom section is really cool too, how the lacing disappears and kind of fades out. And here is the dried finish of the painting. It dried super well, nothing misshapen, it's exactly the same. I love all the lacing, I love that bottom bit without the lacing. That contrast is really, really fun. So different. Going in for a closer look, it almost looks like scales to me too. It could be anything, really, whatever your imagination takes you to. Really, really love it. What do you think? Do you like this version or the one before with the thin gold lacing? I think white works better on black. I think, yeah, I'm going to try next black lacing on white and see how that goes. So the gold still comes out really nicely like this, but I might put a high gloss varnish on later once I've cleaned off all the silicone oil. I hope you enjoyed the painting today and we'll also have a go at this super simple technique. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next one.